Hi, my name is Douglas Aze, founder and CEO of Lago Financial Services. I've been in business for 20 years. I wrote a book called Creating Generational Wealth, What the Super Wealthy Know That You Need to Know. One of the reasons why I decided to write this book was being in the financial service industry and realized there's so many families, so many business owners that get started in a business, but they don't have an exit plan. And once they pass on, the federal government comes in and takes over the business for them. And the family doesn't continue that work for the next generation. And my example, having a, a dad that owned his own business from West Africa, Nigeria, which is a country I'm from, he owned his own business, tractor trailer company. And but as he continues to grow and he passed on, he didn't leave any work for us. So I wanted to kind of dig deep and see what it is that the families, the, the wealthy families are doing, like the Johnson and Johnson family, the Walmart, the Disney. Oh, what do they do differently? So I started studying them and I realized that they do things differently from everyone else. Well, one of the problems that, <laughs> that you're going to fall into with not having wealth is, you know, think about this for a minute. You've worked hard, you've built this business and it's thriving, it's doing well. And all of a sudden, a, ha a heart attack happens and you pass away. What happens to your children that you've been grooming to take care of the business and then they have to now sell the business? because there's not enough money to continue running the business. That's a problem. And you have your business structure, but you didn't structure it properly. You didn't sit down with you know, someone like myself to help you structure things like a trust, a, a business trust that can continue while you're gone. Basically, it's called controlling your business from the grave. You know, and then there's other things you could also do you know, to make sure that your family is well protected because that's all we, we work hard for our families. You know, your family is actually, you know, believe it or not, they a supportive um, uh, aspect of everything because they, they trust you, they believe in your dream, and then you pass away and you, le you left them with debt. You know, that's not a good look. So you want to make sure that you're properly, properly protected in all aspects of creating generational wealth. You know, you, do you have the right trust in place? Do you have the right type of foundation in place to make sure that if anything should happen, things are passed on to your next generation you know with the low, with lowest amount of taxes possible you know the laws are already created in the country to make it easy for you to do those things you just got to be in a position to make it happen i mean if you don't have any wealth and you're taking care of your parents for example i mean i have my mom living with me and i take care of her i take care of all her medical expenses i take care of everything for her but you know because she's not an american citizen but she is a permanent resident but that allowed me to be able to still do things for her because of my position. Now think about yourself and, and your parents that now they've sacrificed for you. And now they depend on you to take care of them. And you don't have things set up for them to be able to do it. You know, to be able to take care of them properly. So one thing that you want to also do is just, you know, have a plan in place. So imagine this, you know, you didn't die. But you got sick, cancer, heart attack, stroke. So many people, you know, are planning, they, they, they're working out. We, we don't have time to take care of ourselves health-wise. And with the way the, the system is set up, you know, the foods you eat and all the stuff that you're doing is actually adding to you getting sick. So what happens if you get sick and you're not properly, you don't have the right foundations in place? What are you going to do? You know, you get ill with cancer. Do you know that most, a lot of businesses and a lot of families file bankruptcy? 80% of cancer treatments are the major causes of bankruptcy. I, I remember a client that told me that their um, cancer bill was about $5 million. I mean, that's a lot of money. So what is it that you're going to do? If that should ever happen to you, do you have the right type of plans in place to make sure things like this, you, you can avoid or, or protect your family from going through it? You know, and I share about that in, in the book Creating Generational World, where I share about a family that that situation happened to, but they were able to sustain and, and take care of their, um, their loved ones, even after they, uh, they passed on. So, you, you started your business, you, you got to college, you got the degree, you got all those, you've done everything right. You started, a, you, you started working at a company, and now you like, you got sick and tired of doing that. You started your own business now, but you started small, which is okay. You know, you, you started working with the folks that you're used to working with, your aunt or uncle that does taxes, and they set you up. But now your business is thriving. Now what happens? You decide to do what? You say to yourself, okay, what do I do next? But you're getting killed in taxes. You know, you're not properly protected. So one thing that I work with and, and 
help my clients understand is how to properly structure themselves in a way so that if anything should have ever happened to them, no one can come in and take their business from them. So, so some of the things that we teach you is how to make sure that you con continue to control your business from the grave so you don't ever have to worry about something happening and you cannot go after it. Now, how do you bring in money into your business to continue to grow your business? Where are the right type of places for you to put your money in? See, so many business owners make the mistake of wanting to take their hard-end profit and invest in the stock market in somebody else's company. Remember, the stock market is volatile. The only person you need to be investing in is in your business, but you also need to have a financial foundation in place that will be there for you no matter what the situation is. No matter whatever happens in the stock market, in, on, on, uh, there's a war going on, it should never affect where your foundation is. So those are some of the things that I, I help you understand because I've been doing this 20 years and in my experience, I've seen so many families rich that became poor because again, they didn't have the proper structure. I've seen families that didn't have a lot, but they started planning and putting their money in the right places. I've seen some of my clients have used monies that we've created to help them send their children to college, pay for a wedding, buy cars, buy properties, you know, invest in real estate properties in the right way. So there's a lot of things that you can do. So again, as a business person or even someone out there working a full-time job, but you're making great income, you, you know, you're not in the six-figure income rent. Well, it's time for you to sit down with an expert to help you structure properly. Because at the end of the day, you know, we want to minimize the amount of taxes that's coming out of our pocket. And at the same time, we want to also protect our asset because there's two ways to make money in, a, in America. Either you win the lottery or there's a lawsuit, right? So, so many people invested a lot of money in the lottery or the power, but again, you know, you, you got to start investing yourself. When, when I first started in my business, I, I started saving money and putting money in the right vehicle, and which I always share about, which is the life insurance contract that I use and talk about. You know, it, it was able. To, I, I did it when I was young. I was 28 years old, making 150,000, 200,000 dollars a year income, and I started saving money in a life insurance contract. Now, fast forward, when I got married, I was able to use money from my insurance policy to pay for the wedding. I was able to use money from my insurance policy to start a medical practice. I mean, that gave me the opportunity to be to do stuff without any debt. You know, so my ex-wife now also she runs the practice, but she was a uh, what they call a physician assistant. So she was the first physician assistant that young that started medical practice with no debt. So that's awesome that you could do that. So when you in a situation where you have money, uh, you can do so much. Now understanding this, you know, if I didn't have those plans in place when I started my business. I wouldn't have been able to structure those things. Now my kids are in position to go to whatever college they want to go to. It doesn't matter how much it's going to cost because the money is already set up and created for them that they can use. And I'm not even worried what happens if I if I don't make it then. They're still protected. They're going to still be able to do whatever it is that I've already laid out for them. Because I want them to continue to have the life that I've created for them while I'm here and while I'm gone. So inside creating generational wealth, you know, what is super wealth, you know, that you need to know. What I've done is I've laid out all the things that you need to do to get started. You know, first, how do you set up your business when you stand up a business? How do you set up what, do you, what, is, what is the right type of corporation to have? You know, LLC, sole proprietorship, you know, all those things. And also when you're buying real estate, what is the best way to purchase real estate? You know, just the basic stuff, you know, because I believe there's baby steps to everything. And then, you know, as you continue to understand and grow that aspect, then we we'll talk about what you also need to do to protect your family. You know, when it comes to insurance, what's the type of insurance? And, of course, we know it's so expensive to buy multiple types of policies. So one of the things that I talk about in Create Generational Wealth is where you could get a life insurance policy that have living benefits inside of them that allows you to be able to access money. God forbid if you have sickness like cancer, heart attack, stroke, a kidney failure. If that should ever happen, you could access money from the insurance policy up to $1.5 up to $2 million with some companies that will allow you 
to use that money to take care of your immediate financial needs. Because at the end of the day, the hospitals don't care. They just want the money. So one thing that, and most life insurance only pay when you pass away. Well, one thing that the new type of insurance that's available today gives you an opportunity to access money from the policy while you're living, not just for debt. So those are some, some things I talk about in, inside the book, Great Generation Wealth. And then we talk about trust and wills, how to make sure you protect your family so they don't have to have the burden of going through probate court and fighting for your wealth. I mean, that is so sad. And I'll give you a, a, a quick story about that. I mean, I had a, a, a customer a while be, when I was young in the business, and she was a business owner, successful doing owned a restaurant with kids. And... You know, she bought a policy, it was like $400,000 life insurance policy. And she had grown adults and she asked me, you know, I, and she wanted to set up a will with a, an attorney and she went and set one up. But then she, she picked, when she passed, she passed away three years later. And um, so one of her daughters called, because she's the one in charge of her um, affairs, and called to ask about and tell me about the mom's passing away. And I said, okay, sure. So I looked into the policy and realized the person that called me, hi, her name is not even in the policy as the beneficiary. She had other children as the beneficiary of her plan. And she put this other daughter because that one owned her own business. But she felt, well, she's doing well. She doesn't need my money. But then she gave it to other kids that when they would have anything to do with the person that's already planned. But basically, at the end of the day, they lost the restaurant and the family was torn apart. This was one of the reasons that I say, you know what, I need to step up. I need to be able to help my clients on all the way around and talk about things that they need to have. So I put that inside the book, Creating the Generation World, to make sure that when you're building your business, don't forget to set up a trust. I, I put in the amount of money you need to have. If, you, if your asset is about $75,000 inside the book creating generation where if you if you're over over seventy five thousand dollars in assets, that's the time you need to sit down with an attorney or contact me if you don't if you're not comfortable with working with one, contact me, we will share some ideas with you and help you and guide you through the process because you're no longer in that position as everyone else. You're no longer in that position to say, I need to wait, I need to procrastinate and wait. You can't we one thing we all know is we're going to pass away. We just don't know when it's going to happen. So the quicker we prepare for our families and start protecting our wealth, the better for every one of us. So, well, you know, some people already believe they, you know, they've arrived, they've done it all. Oh, I'm already doing well. I don't need to read anything else. I've read all the other books. So whatever it is when it comes to creating wealth. Well, you know what? You might be right. You might have read everything out there. I'm still learning every day myself. I'm constantly reading to get my brain and educate myself. Now, you might say to yourself, you know what, I don't need the book because I don't have any money. I'm poor, I'm broke, I don't have any money to create generational wealth. Well, you know what, it's not about you alone. It's about the generation that you're, the people that are depending on you. You know, there's, it's never too late to start. The whole idea is having the knowledge so you could pass it on to the next person. You know, because one of the biggest mistakes that I've seen is a lot of the older generations don't share knowledge with the younger generations about what it is that they've done. You know, I believe it's always good to share ideas and share your mistakes. You know, and I always tell my clients to sit down if you're young, you know, when you go to work or wherever it is, this is what I do. When I meet a financial advisor that's been in the business 40 years, 50 years, in their 75, 80 years, one of the questions I always ask them, I say, you know what, what is one thing that you could have done differently you know, in all the years that you could share with me that I can use. And they share ideas with me and they, they're willing to help you. You know, you always kind of got to keep seeking knowledge and asking and getting better. You know, so the book is there to as a guide. You know, of course, it's not the answer to everything, but it's a guide to help you get started. It's the foundation you need to at least know, you know, I want to get life insurance. What type of life insurance should I get? What is the different types that is available? I want to set up a trust. Should I do a trust or should I do a will? I address that inside the book. You know, I'm, buy, I'm looking to start investing in real estate. What's the best way to do it? Should I do it as an LLC or should I buy it as a trust or should I buy it as a foundation? You know, those questions are things that is going to come up that you, you want to know 
how do I do? So those are things that we address inside the book, Great Generational so, Wealth. You know, being in financial service for 20 years, I decided to, one, research the wealthy families to understand what are they doing differently than that most people are not doing because it's coming from West Africa, Nigeria. We have so many families that are rich, but as soon as death happens, that family's wealth only lasts maybe three, four years and it's over. So I wanted to write this book to make it easy for you to be able to, one, plan properly to make sure that no matter what happens, your family will be well protected. So that's what I did. I wanted to make sure that families are, are well protected and at the same time are able to do the things that they want to do, which is pass the wealth on to the next generation. So many people talk about create generational wealth, get into this business and become wealthy, but nobody ever talks about how you properly do it. Business. If you have a business, you're running a business, or you're investing in real estate, you know, do I want to leave the property for my kids? You know, do they want money or do they want the property? We want to talk about it. How do you structure it so that no matter what happens, your children don't have to ever worry about fighting over the property? You've already laid down everything. Now, you know, you could be a person, you have three kids and you're running a business. Two of your children might not be interested in the business. You might only have one that is interested that shows interest in your business, but you left the business for all three of them. That's a problem that's about to happen. So what do you do? Why not set up a situation where it's okay, these are the two, they're not interested, we will just pay them a salary and they stay away from the business, but this child is the one, he's going to be the one running the business, he's the president, he's the CEO. You could create all those things ahead of time. How do you structure, what kind of structure do you want to have in place to make sure that family tree is set up properly? Because I always say, you know, a family is a business and you got to treat it like that. Because there's the president, there's the, there's the vice president, and then the children are the employees. They're the workers. How is the family protected in case something happens? So in creating generational work, the, the, that was some of the process, some of the things that came in mind as I continue to think of ways to make sure that families, especially in my family, myself, you know, I wanted to make sure I have stuff laid out for my kids because I wanted to lay out a, a, a foundation for them to make sure none of my kids are going to come in and start getting upset because i watched a movie um the other day on uh, it's on it's on youtube you could check it out it's called the one percenters you know check out that movie and you see i mean who who was the guy documentary it was one of the great grandchildren of johnson and johnson but he's upset because he's like why are we so rich well of course he but he don't understand what the great grandfather did hey this is douglas Azer with creating generational wealth what the super wealthy know that you need to know you've seen the videos you're excited you love it now it's time for you to do what? Take action. Listen, I've made it easy for you. You could get it on Amazon. You could get download it on iTunes. You could get it on Audible. You could get it on Kindle. Everywhere covered for you. So all you have to do is click the button and just get a copy. You know, it's a great gift for families and, and for friends and people that you love. Do that. You know, the holiday is coming. It's a good read for Thanksgiving dinner. It's a good read, a conversational piece for the family. It's time for the families to start talking about money and wealth. We need to do that because most families don't do it. You got to do it. That's the one of the things that the wealthy families do. So again, don't forget to click that button and take action. But the book, guess what? It's not going to kill you, but you could control your wealth from the grave.